Hey people, this is Eric Cobra, and as might be obvious for from the title, I'm here to talk about Darkest Dungeon. You may have noticed there's been a bit of a break. Now, this is not purely related to what I'm going to talk to you about, uh, but mostly. Uh, I was going on the weekend other places, but yeah. See, the thing is, after the weekend I came home, took a day off to like, really, you know, I've been out all weekend, so day off to recover and such. That's probably part of the problem in hindsight, but then Tuesday I sat down and was like, right, time to let's play. I, so that's according to the schedule, today's Darkest Dungeon. And that, that reaction right there, that's that's not a good reaction. And I realized that, see, something I realized, and I complained a bit about Darkest Dungeons and such. Darkest Dungeon, singular. And there was always something underlying, something I couldn't really put my finger on. And that came to a forefront where I was just like... <sighs> so, I spent some time thinking. And I think I realized why. I think I realized what the problem is. To be completely frank, Darkest Dungeon bores me. Now... Bear in mind, I am not by this saying that I think Dark's Dungeon is a bad game. But it's not a game that hooks me. And I'm learning a bit about it, and that's really because Dark's Dungeon really only has one thing going for it, and that's the, the combat system. There's not much of a story, you know, there's the intro and there's probably also an outro, but otherwise it's just, well, go around here and kill. And there's not much of a sense of progression other than your guys slowly leveling up by wandering around the same dungeons and such killing the same enemies. In the same mission types. The, the combat system is good, but, you know, that in of itself can get samey. And I don't know if this counts as spoilers or not, so those of you who do not want that, be careful. But, you know, I decided to check if something up ahead I should be looking at all for. Apparently the game only really has four mission types. There's scouting missions, there's kill everyone missions, there's go push buttons missions, and there's go collect stuff missions, which is very samey. And the enemies, well, at higher difficulties there might be two or three new enemies, if you're lucky. But most of the enemies you'll meet are the same enemies you fought on the lower level dungeons, but with a new name and better stats. Same goes with bosses. There's two bosses for every area, repeated three times, with a new name, new stats. And, you know, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it can get easily quite repetitive. I already felt it was getting repetitive when I played it. And some people like that. Some people like the grind. I, I don't mind grinding, but it's really not something that hooks me. The game has a lot going for it. Good art design, good music, creative enemies. But none of that really hooks me as a player. That's really up to the gameplay that, you know, and you could say some of the same things about something like, you know, uh, XCOM, for example, or Dark Souls. Let's take XCOM, for example. You can say, oh, but, you know, that just also just pick a random map and such, and then, you know, you find the same guys and such. And yeah, that's kind of true. But, you know, XCOM also had a sense of progression. You know, you unlock new stuff, you evolve. You do that in Dark Dungeon too, yeah, but it feels kind of slower. What would, you know, slowly grinding the necessary ingredients to get the new level in the blacksmith thing, so you can get a slightly better sword. Furthermore, XM had a story that progressed, not just a checklist of things you want to kill. I mean, really, besides the go explore your first dungeon mission, all the things in Dark Dungeon was find this boss and murder their face. Dark Souls 2, for example, only really relies on its gameplay, but its gameplay is a lot more exciting, and furthermore, there's constantly new areas and new enemies and new bosses to, to discover. So, I'm no by no means saying Darkest Dungeon is a bad game, and truth is, probably the reason I, you know, took so long to realize it is, I kind of wanted to like it as a game. I admire a lot it does. I think it makes some great missteps. Recently, I found out there's no hunger meter. It's more randomish, apparently, which I think is kind of dumb. But I think it does, does a lot of interesting things, so I wanted to like the game, also because I heard so much good stuff about it. But, I have to be honest with myself, the truth is, the game bores me. I, it's just not that interesting to me, at least not as a game. 
And thing is, let's play where I'm not interested is not going to be good. I know this from past experience. It's going to be dull, dreary, I'm going to find more, less and less com things to comment on. And before you know it, I'm using it like my primal block going. So today, I say as I bravely send stuff, I just smack up skeletons, I went shopping. And today was a bad day for shopping because there was a long queue. And then I missed the bus, but luckily the weather was nice, so then I could walk home. And that's not going to be very interesting for you guys. I don't want to go there. I don't think that's going to be good. I really tried with these, but it gets worse and worse. I get more and more bored. And, and nothing I've seen on what's coming up seems like it's going to grab me. So, sadly, I'll have to cancel this Let's Play. I'm sorry for everyone who got invested in it or who wants to see my reactions for upcoming things. I can do nothing but offer my apologies. <sighs> But I just can't make a let's play out of something that bores me. Something that enrages me, infuriates me, annoys me. I could do that. I have done that in the past where I prefer games that I enjoy. But a game that just bores me, I don't feel I could deliver a quality product. So you may argue that I'm not even doing that when I like the game. One could argue you're right. But my point is, I couldn't put my heart into it. And I think you guys and girls, or guys, gender neutral nowadays, can I always keep, no, can I keep over? It's sorry, I'm getting pedantically sidetracked. Bad habit of mine. My point is, I want to deliver what I feel is a quality product, and that requires me to be invested. I'm not. I tried. And one has to know when to throw the hat in the ring, or throw in the towel, or something. Doesn't matter. So, I'm going to replace that with something else. Sorry to everyone who got really invested in it. But hey, c'est la vie, as the French say. So, this has been Eric Cobra. And, yeah, this is the end for Let's Play Dark Dungeon. See you all around, and hopefully you'll find more things you like from me in the future.